Hey everybody, this is ALG bringing you a brand new Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune now in 720p resolution. This will be my first Let's Play using the Hoppage HD PVR. I think that's how that's pronounced as Hoppage. Hoppage, Hoppage, Hoppage. Anyway, um, this game is probably one of the most amazing games I've ever played in terms of graphics cinema. This is really one of the first games that makes a heavy use of cinema, a uh, sense of scale. Like, I don't even know where to begin with this game. It's just insane. Uh, it's a game that really doesn't need any introduction whatsoever. So, this will be a Let's Play, meaning that I will be adding commentary over the gameplay. So, if you do not like that, please watch something else, like a regular walkthrough. This will have me commentating over every... Uh, over every t chance that I get gameplay, but not every cutscene. So... Uh, there's a cutscene coming up. This game really needs no introduction anyway, so enjoy. I'm here off the coast of Panama, where we just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer Sir Francis Drake, who was buried at sea over 400 years ago. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Besides, thought you didn't believe me. Well, I did do my research, and apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. For example, you can't defile an empty coffin. What the hell? Ah, <laughs> you devil. What is it? Come on, hold it up. No, 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 no way. Deal was for a coffin. That's it. Wait a minute. If my show hadn't have funded this expedition, hey, hey, you wouldn't you have... got your story, lady. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> I have a right to see no, every single thing that... could you hold that thought? Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Okay, okay, what's going on? Uh, pirates. Pirates? Yeah, the modern kind. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, sh shouldn't we call the authorities or something? Uh, that'd be a great idea, but we don't exactly have a permit to be here. What? Yeah, so unless you want to end up in a Panamanian jail, we should probably handle this ourselves. But what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, yeah, it's like a camera. You just you point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. All right, so uh, okay, find us out here. All right, these people are gonna still be talking, but uh, there's gonna be subtitles here, so it should be all right. Um. There's going to be a lot of pirate ownage, as you can see. This game pretty much walks you through all the controls. Shoot the uh, barrels to uh, obviously kill more than one pirate at once. You just get cover like this. Yeah, indeed. Go back in the kitchen and make me sandwich, woman. Awesome. Now, I haven't played this game in quite a while, but I have beaten it three times in the past. So it's just it's going to take me a while to get my marksmanship back up. So it's kind of like a cold turkey here. Cold turkey moment here. All right, they're gonna start climbing overboard. This is a nice time to do some melee attacks. Fuck you up. Awesome. I love melee attacks in this game. Very well done. This game's design is just incredible. Uh, it, it, it's a very, very just amazing game. Very fluid. Uh, gameplay is relatively simple to understand. Unlike mo a lot of FPSs out there, this one, even though I don't know if it's an FPS or not, but this one just shines out of all the games that I've played. Awesome, enough, that guy wasn't shooting at me. There we go. Ugh. Well, it's going to be a lot of pirate orange in this game, or them owning me, probably. 
I don't know. But I'm on a boat, so I guess that makes it better. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you could do cover fire like that. It's very, very nice. Oh, right over my head. Yeah, machine gun fire is really nasty. You really want to watch out for that. Oh, no, not a rocket. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, this game is insane. Oh, never mind. Soul is here. Oh, jeez. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think you are either. Oh. Yay! Oh no, the ship blew up. Uh. Oh wait. What are you doing? Okay. Come on. Go. <laughs> I can't leave you alone for a minute, can I? Ah, I had everything under control until they blew up the boat. <laughs> you alright? Nothing the years of therapy won't fix. Well, if it isn't the beautiful and talented Elaine Fisher. Flattery will get you screen time. Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Victor Sullivan. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. <sighs> What do you say we get out of here before we attract any more attention? Well? A little present from Sir Francis. Oh, oh, so you found the carbon. Wait a minute, is this what I think it is? <laughs> Drake's lost diary. He faked his death, just like I said, Sully. He must have been onto something big. Yeah, well, let's just keep that between us. Thanks for the loan, Mr. Drake. I think I've earned a look at that diary when we land. So look, when Drake sailed into the Pacific, he took the Spanish fleet completely by surprise. He captured their ships, he took all their maps, their letters, their journals, and he recorded everything in this diary. Uh-huh, so this... But when he got back to England, Queen Elizabeth confiscated all of his charts and logbooks, including this one, and then swore his entire crew to silence. Yeah, so this... You see, Drake discovered something on that voyage, Sully. Something so secret and so valuable, they couldn't risk it getting out. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> a man only interested in the climax. He must be a real hit with the ladies. Never had any complaints. Okay, then. I'll jump to the good part, just for you. Ho, ho, ho. Huh? El goddamn Dorado. He was onto something big, all right. Does it say anything else? Oh, so now you're interested, huh? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, no. Last page was torn out. I'm telling you, Sully. This is it. This is finally it. Yeah. Only... We got one little problem. Yes, that's what I said. It blew up. It sank. No, that's why we have insurance, right? Oh. Oh no, the camera? No, the camera's fine. Don't worry about the camera, no. It's still as good as new. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Maybe her producer can get it on the air tonight. Oh, come on. Nate, do you trust me? More or less. <laughs> good. Because we're going to have every two-bit scumbag in the world racing us to this treasure unless we cut her loose right now. You're a real gentleman, Sully. I know. It stinks. She'll get over it. No, I don't... I don't care for over-budget. I mean, do you realize that this could be, like, the biggest story of the year? <laughs> Hi. No, I don't trust him, okay? That's why we need to move fast. So just get me the camera crew, and I promise you that... Son of a bitch. 
Hey! Should have seen that one coming. Ugh. All right, guys, we're back to gameplay. Oh, so that was an awesome cutscene. Hold on, kid. I'm not as young as I used to be. You old fart. Try to keep up, old yeah, man. Yeah, you weren't too old for that little barmaid in Lima, were you? <laughs> well, <that was> <laughs> okay, these guys are just going to be talking. I'm just going to be talking about my input. <laughs> uh. well, it's like every scene is a cutscene. Ugh, it's so frustrating. We're just anyway, there. uh... This game is uh, made by Naughty Dog, same makers of the uh, Crash Bandicoot series. No, I'm not really interested. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna be climbing up here and sca try to escape this old guy. No. Yeah, look at the detail of this game. Like, literally, it's like look at the water. It's just so awesome. This is one of the first. Uh, video games on the PlayStation 3 that utilize all of the PlayStation's cores. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the outcome was amazing. I mean, look at the detail of this waterfall. Now, because uh, this game uses up so much resources, uh, it's, Uncharted is notorious for locking up your PlayStation 3, especially true for Uncharted 2. If you play it for more than at least uh, four hours or something, Three to four hours, your PlayStation will overheat and freeze. I've had that happen to me so so many times. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You'd probably know because you were probably around in his time, you old man. Well. Get it. According to this, we're right on top of the mark. Maybe you're not reading that thing right. Let me see it. No, this is the place. There's nothing here, Nate. Another goddamn dead end. 